What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed. And today I'm being joined with Nick from 626. What's and, up? <laughs> and we are going to go and we're going to attack this show because I know I haven't shown any footage or anything yet from this. And uh, we're going to do a walkthrough. We're going to give a live commentary on what's going on, some of the people we met. The show is actually a wee bit bigger than what you would expect for a state-run show, but that is Florida in a nutshell. It's absolutely One of the amazing. best FBSs I've been at so far, I got to say, and we, the last five years. We're in Coronado Springs. This is uh, on the Walt Disney Properties. Absolutely beautiful venue. And uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and flip this camera around and let's do a walkthrough and let's see all the people. Now, mind you, as you've just seen, a lot of people are still coming and going. They're, you know, it's lunchtime. People going out to get some drinks and some food and stuff. So this is not the, the totality of the crowd, but you'll get the idea. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, game on. All right, so this here is the Coronado Springs Resort. It is absolutely gorgeous. And it is way bigger than you think, because not only does it go down there, but then it turns and it goes down past the ballrooms. And uh, this is the Veracruz room. It's big. <laughs> Who's this? Is this David? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey. I'm doing good. Really good, man. So, um, we have actually covered this before. Um, this is... Oh, my God. <laughs> what is Let's this? Go. What is this? You gotta be this? careful you don't hit your lip on it. Holy <laughs> shit. It's the Positive Energy Battery, Termi uh, uh, battery Company uh, Terminator 2 competition. Last year it was Pac-Man. Oh. No, that was good. That was good. So, Sweet. See all the excitement that's over here at booth 201 for FBS this year? Oh These my guys, gosh. they have like the first booth you come into, and of course they have video games. And the cool thing is, is these video games are usually powered by a battery source because these guys are all about renewable energy and recycling batteries. And that is their claim to fame, man. Lots of UPS work we're, we're doing now. It seems to be like a hot button issue for everybody, whether it's imaging, whether it's a MR Nuke Med uh, UPSs, whether it's lab analyzer UPSs, preventative maintenance schedules that we do, and the high quality batteries that we do just make it so easy for biometrics to kind of set it and forget it with us. Excellent. That's very cool. And, and you guys still uh, collect the uh, lithium ions and stuff, right? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, we're still not charging for recycling right now. Okay. A uh, huge deal for a lot of people. Um, lead crashed over COVID, so yeah. lead acid battery recycling is like, you get nothing for the batteries. Nobody's going to come and recycle these batteries for you for free. Yeah. Oh, wait. I will. Yeah. Oh, but I am looking guy. for some sales on the front end, though, but I'm going to be free. I'm going to be uh, very fair on price, and I'm going to give you a very, very premium product. And we're going to play video games at your shop. Just kidding. David's also a very talented rapper. So if you <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> if you follow him on LinkedIn, he's got an awesome video. I suggest you watch it. Uh, Thanks, him, and, him and his son are just killing it. So <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, hey, man. Keep the positive energy going, baby. Thank you for your Let's help. Let's go. Man. Let's go. So we're going to start up here at the front corner, and I'm going to try and get the scope. Nick, you're for scale. <laughs> he's a bigger dude than me. So <laughs> right. we got med bays. we got med service. we got first call parts. How you doing, guys? And you can see... The room actually goes way back. I'm gonna try and cover it as best I can, but uh, we'll see how, how far we go and how well we do. The park source guys. Hey, how y'all doing? Hello, how are you? I'm doing good, really good. So we got, wow, these guys really came out with the equipment. Yeah. Holy cow. Okay. Uh, so I have not gone through this, shot, this uh, show yet. Um, so this is all new to me. I've been talking this entire time, guys. So Steris has brought some of their stuff out. Oh, I, I, I have not seen that table yet. Very cool. TSS, guys. United Infusion. Hey, guys. Aceterra. Aceterra always has some cool new tech. I'm waiting for their new stuff to come out. We got Elite Biomed Solutions. They do a lot of manufacturing, remanufacturing of parts. Some good stuff. Remember Ace Terror, they got that little uh, phantom. Guys? Okay, so we got Kyle Bow. What's going on, man? Not much. Mr. Clint, star of the show, always. <laughs> we got Precision Laser, guys. We got uh, Frank. We got Compliamed. Compliamed is a CMMS solution. 
and uh, hopefully I will be having a whole separate video so we can have some high res of what's going on with their CMMS. It's actually designed for the independent uh, biomed or the small company. Guys, we got Virtus Imaging. Folks at ISER, wow, you guys are just packing them in. Let's see. We got Intermed. Hey guys. They go back in the X-ray. You know, hey. <laughs> okay. We've got Avante up here in the front. We got CE Tech and AIV. AIV has a lot of power solutions, and they actually have quite the quite the assortment as well. RSTI. All right, I'm gonna try and go fast, guys, because uh, there is so much of the show. It's a big show, guys. Big show. For the last like five years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick. Let's. Let's proceed. Let's see. We have Southeastern Biomed Associates, and they're also doing fluke. And hold on. Let's go ahead and give you a slow pan so you can see where we're at. We got the folks at BD. Hey, guys. We got TSI, the certifiers. We got. Encyclopedia. Oh man. man, yeah. This is impressive. We got uh, Rigel and their product line. So fluke, they have the new IDA six as part of their new platform. Again, uh, that's that's all kind of stuff that I hope to cover again soon. We'll see. Um, go for medical. You can see uh, they have some beautiful displays set up, man. It's that's one of the things I love about these shows is you get to see how the company really functions and stuff. Um, we got medical equipment dynamics, new med, tri imaging solutions. And then we got USOC. Hey. <laughs> and let's see. We, we got the bars here in the middle of the floor. Um, again, guys, I'm, I'm kind of moving fast because there is so much more of the show to cover. Hey, sir. How are you doing? Hey, Carlos. Hey, man. Good to see you, man. What's up, man? Have you fun? Yeah, absolutely. All right, we got Superior Analytics. Sage, the folks at Sage. <laughs> They're ready for it. They're ready to go. So Sage is, is a, grown quite a bit over the last several years, and uh, their capabilities have also expanded incredibly. Look at that. Look at this. You got quite the booth. You guys have quite the booth, man. Yeah, man. We try. You know? Wow. You did the Gordian thing that one time. What's that? That was you. That did yeah, that was me. Yeah, yeah. That was me. Did you get the close-up? Well, of the bear? I want that bear. <laughs> I want the I want the bears. <laughs> MXR imaging, hey guys. And let's see. I'm gonna try and continue back up here so that we get everything. We got med shop. Wow, they they brought so much equipment out. That's that's insane. So we got the folks at Zoll, uh, manufacturer. We got J2S. Hey guys. Yeah, Vigilor. And HG, how you doing? You guys doing all right? But what type of stuff do you guys have? Um, I, they're quite the assortment. Biomedical equipment, so tables, chairs, sterilizers, all kinds of stuff. Okay. Yeah, Interesting. Everything. Dental, lab. Healthcare components. All right. Oh, awesome. you're a better, better bio. Yeah. yeah. Out yeah. of Texas? Yeah, Houston. Yeah, yeah. 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 I came in for the party, man. Let's <laughs> Florida always has a good party. I'll be right back. It's okay. Go, go, go. We got BC Group and the guys over here, BC Group, they have a new product, which is new flow meter. Um, they also are a retailer for IMT. Have some interesting yeah. stuff always. Let's see. And, oh, look at that. IPA 3100 infusion pump analyzer. You guys know I did a whole video on that, right? So, Drake Med, hey, how y'all doing? We got Mindray's got a lot of stuff set up. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm going a little bit too fast. Hey man, how you doing? Good, how are you? Doing really good. Life Sync. We have IMT Analytics, of course. One of the leaders in respiration uh, 
respiration analyzers. We've got Mindray. Wow, they're they have such beautiful displays. You guys see like the coloration? Really vibrant displays. High resolution. Love it. IMT has a, a working setup. Hey guys. Okay, let's see. Over here, I have Ushio. They make uh, bulbs. I know. Skytron, of course. Hey guys. So, Skytron is a, one of the prominent manufacturers of uh, surgical tables. Over here in the corner, we have PM Bio or PM Biomedical, and they have a long booth. I've got AUS. Hey guys. AUS is a, a training program and an ultrasound company. We have the guys over at Ozark. Ozark is one of the standard sources for um, centrifuge parts in the industry. We've got Sodexo. We have the guys over at Block Imaging. Block is based out of Michigan. Hey guys, how y'all doing? So uh, Block Imaging has also been expanding. They've been doing quite well. Thanks guys. Let's see. Okay, so let's get to the stuff that I've never seen that's going to be back here behind this wall. And I think we should start this way. Okay. Let's do it. Now, I have multiple more rows of businesses, so I'm trying to go kind of quick, guys, all right? I'm sorry. Schiller? Now, these guys are a European company, and they have some really interesting technology. I've talked with them several times. Venture Medical. Oh, look at that transport chair. That's kind of cool. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Great. Oh, look at that portable light. I like that. Looks durable. That's Venture Medical. Schiller. We got Mall. Mall does training on uh, injectors. He goes around the country offering training to medical centers or to companies. So. Guys, we have 626, and you always know the 626 guys because they are all purple, and I've always given them comments before because their branding is just fantastic. Hey guys, and then let's see, we got Innovatus Imaging right across the way. <laughs> We've got Probo Medical over here. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing because uh, I can hear their comments in the background. So we got Probo. Probo just made a recent acquisition and they are expanding incredibly. Hey, how you doing? Caitlin. Um, let's see, cables and sensors. We have Crothel. Ladies, how you doing? Okay. We have Biomedical Repair and Consulting. Excellent. Hello. We have Phillips. Wow, that... It looks beautiful. Oh, look at this, their fetal monitor. Very cool. I've never actually had to work on those and I've never seen them in, in service because uh, most of my hospitals always had old GEs, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, I like this guy though. It's nice. Okay. I dig it. I like the fact that the bin is nice and large and right up in the front. Very nice. That's from Phillips. All right, thanks, guys. Okay. So let's see. We're getting back towards the back of the room. Not quite to the back, but we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. So let's see. We're, we're over here with MedWrench, of course, making an impression. And Tech Nation. <laughs> and Tech Nation. That's right. So... What's going on, man? We got some uh, pop, pop going on here. Pass or fail? Pass or fail? What? What? I got that on camera. That was solid. Exclusive medical solutions. Okay, sorry guys for the quick panning. We got Verathon over here. Verathon has some cool stuff, man. Oh, that's a new bladder scanner. All right. Very cool. Integrity Biomed Services. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful looking display. Neon coated. I could read that from way over there, from where I was standing. Nice. Okay. Look at that full featured module. I dig it. Neon Coden is one of the original inventors of SPO2, pulse oximetry. This is a portable ventilator. It's a full featured ventilator. This is a non invasive ventilator plus heated high flow. Oh, okay, so nice. It's single limb. It's the closest, I would say, the closest alternative to the V60 in the marketplace. Okay. V60 was a predicate device for it. Wow, that looks like it's a pretty lightweight platform, too. Oh, yeah, very easy. Just right off. It's got a bed rail on the back, you can put it on the bed. What? How'd you disconnect that? Is it a lever? Right oh, very cool. Four hours and 45 minutes. And look at this, guys. It's got a metal bed rail connector. Because you guys know that that's one of the areas where they're bound to break. <laughs> very nice. Very cool. I've never seen one of those before. Yeah, it's Excellent. So that's neon coated. Right. Thanks, guys. Okay. Um, all right. So we are coming down near the end. Thank goodness, guys. This is going to be a long video. Hey. Atlas Specialty Lighting. Oh, all right. Okay. So these guys uh, are doing all the xenon bulbs for replacements. Very cool. Hey, hey what's going on, man? Doing? You doing all right? So you want to see something new we're showcasing here? You always have something new, man. Something. What you got? Well, we got our, our GRZ mattress here with a uh, nine bladders, pump optional. With the low air loss cover, okay, and our gel gel cut poured into the uh, foam. Wait, now actually, I did a, I did a video on one of your mattresses before, and that one a, that was the smart mattress. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we get, just got FDA approval on that product uh, about in November, and now we're looking at commercialization and scaling up. So we'll have more for you on that later. No kidding. All right. This product right here. So we are a distributor and a installer for Hatchmet. They do the magnetic uh, bedside cables, which you've probably seen. I have so never seen those. Oh, so basically, this never installs on the back of a bed, and then this goes into the wall unit. So big issue is when they move the beds, right. they pull the bed. They destroy the wall plate. <laughs> rip out the cable, and the cable. somebody forgets it's plugged in. So what better way than to have a magnet, right? Good. I, I actually just said something about, to somebody about that um, probably about a month ago because I walked into a situation where they had about a half a dozen beds that were all jacked up because they had um, two or three people in one ward that would never do the right thing. And I told them, there's got to be a solution. Why can't they? Because I've also had cables like that for my phone, and that's a, that's a high-speed data port. I was like, if I can do a high-speed data port with magnetic connectors, so a, why couldn't we do it for hospital beds? System. Basically, we install this end into the wall mount, yep. and then you have this end into the bed, and then you've got the magnet. There you go. Can I? There you go. I want to see how strong the retention is. Retention strong, and then you can't even put it in the other way. Turn it. Try to do it the That's other way. That's actually stronger retention than I thought. Oh, look at that. Okay. There you go. Full it's proof. polarized. Nice. And then we can go ahead and adjust the switch bank settings on the bed to make sure it's compatible with the system. So uh, Striker, Hellround, whatever it is. We've been doing uh, installs nationally for this company with this product. Look at that. It's got pogo pins, and uh, it also looks like it's pretty fluid preventative which means it's it's got like a seal there when it's so what we do up. is we run an annual pm basically we just cut it up clean up the leads yep. and put it back when we're doing the pm on the beds very cool all right so let me take show you what this company came out with which is really cool we just exhibited this in dubai at arab health last week to really great feedback so this is installed outside the patient room right this patient monitor and this pillow speaker if you will is at the bedside Outs. Oh, look, it's got a bed it's, holder. And, and it's got the it. same magnetic attachment, so you can't uh, rip out the cable. What? And this is just powered in. And let me show you the way it works. This is what's going to blow your mind. So I've got a room that's ready to be entered. If it's contact isolation, you see the color changes on the alert. Right. Or we could say high containment, for example, uh, if it's like tuberculosis. That. The perimeter lights. Right. Now I want to know what the patient has. So we're going to have a patient fall risk. We got a medium fall risk. We don't want the patient disturbed. Look how fast that impaired. is. So it, it doesn't have allergy. a slow processor. Not at all. And it looks and like it's very risk. sensitive to touch. 
So what about the touch with uh, gloves? Same thing. Okay. Now, at the bedside, the patient decides that, hey, I'm thirsty, I want a blanket, and I'm in pain. They put in the requests, stay in bed, somebody will be there soon, and you get the request outside the room. Okay, so you don't have to enter the room to figure out what the patient needs. Exactly, they, and they you have, have a, a time list. control here, so you also know how long the request came in to how long it was serviced. So that's great. And then, let's say that the patient has tuberculosis, you don't want to go in the room to talk to the patient. Yes. You can video the patient. And now, here we are. Video what? live with the patient from the bedside. Okay. Okay, so that. that's phenomenal. And then if the patient wants to watch any media, whether it's Netflix or whatever else, they can have it right here. So you don't even need the TV screens in the room. For patient entertainment, you can build it all in to I'd the iPad. i for kids. Because especially for kids, it would be essential. So that's what we're, it'd be great we could have it at the pediatric. What about for unit. languages? So again, we just came back from Dubai. Uh, we're gonna be integrating this with Arabic. And okay. obviously whatever language is needed, I'm sure the developers can get it done. I, I could see because right now, a lot of things require an interpreter, but your solution, if if you the during the initial um, screen when you put in the patient identifier, you would select the language, and now you have a portable interpreter. And with the video, you have a video interpreter. Yeah, so we saw this product again. We've been working with Hatchman a long time. Uh, the CEO Brian Hatch, really smart guy, comes up with a lot of innovative technology. And when we saw this, we really saw this as a solution That's very to cool. common problems. And obviously, you no longer have to have the chart. And you know right away if it's a contact isolation room based on the coloring. Yep, so right yep. now, we're going in and uh, we're working in patient units. Nurses are going in. Sometimes it's something as, as simple as just an orange sticker outside the room. Yep. It's easy to overlook that. Of course. You can also save on PPE because yep. if nurses don't always have to go into the room, they don't have to gown up, put on the right, gloves, right. put on the booties put on the face mask and everything else. So in the long run, it's actually a cost savings as well. Okay, fascinating. I honestly could see this in children's hospitals. They would love that. They would love that. Especially since you could probably install new applets and stuff um, according to you know who the customer is. If it's a geriatric hospital versus a kid's hospital. That's really cool, man. All right, guys, that is MedStat, I've done videos with them before. They always have some of the coolest products, and that's why I always spend extra time over here. I'll leave their links in the video description so you can check out these cool products, man. That's insane. That technology, you've seen it here first. It's, it's going to happen. We knew it was going to happen, but uh, now that they have a working product, I dig it. I like it. Thanks, man. Thank you, Justin. MMS? Guys? And in the back of the room here, we have the College of Biomedical Equipment Technology. These guys have been busy. They have been so busy. So the, um, the College of Biomedical Equipment Technology, they gave the keynote just a little while ago. I posted a photo from that. And uh, Monty, who's over there, he's on the phone. Um, he talked about the future of medical technology and where they're going and where the educational industry is going. Um, and also how we have to be versatile people going forward. And he's right. He's absolutely right. In the very back of the room here, we have a place where people can take a little bit of a rest. Because if you can imagine, when you're sitting here for hours talking to people, it does get exhausting. And uh, that is just the nature of the beast because when you come up here, there's so many people that have so many questions, they have so many ideas, and they want to network, and it just, it gets absolutely exhausting. Nick again. <laughs> so you can see, um, people are starting to come, there's Matt right there. So uh, Matt is uh, one of the leaders in the industry, especially for advanced training, and he's got some new stuff. We're gonna be doing some videos with him. Um, on some of the modules that he's coming out with for VR technology. Yes. And he's, he's walking around networking, doing his thing. I'm not going to take too much of your time, man. All right. See you, Matt. All right. And over here, Prescott's Tenacore and QRS Solutions. QRS is uh, Daytrend. 
and I do believe I missed this entire section. We have the guys from Amy. We have one of uh, my business partners, Omega. This is where I've been, is over here in the corner. And uh, we've had quite a bit of traffic. <clears throat> we got Ken Med. These guys actually do surgical. They specialize in all sorts of different types of surgical. And if you guys have slush makers, very interesting. Ken Med uh, rebuilds those uh, surgery slushes. And uh, they have a really cool solution where they can rebuild them. They recharge the um, refrigerant. Interesting conversation with those guys, man. So here he comes. This is Mr. John right here coming back from Omega. He is pounding cement out here, and he's he actually runs uh, inventory management systems. But at the same time, he's getting into uh, he's getting into maintenance solutions, and that's where I come in. That's why I'm helping him out is because Kobe Medical specializes in maintenance. John is just an uh, absolute hustler. Dude gets out there, pounds cement, meets people like I've never seen before. Dude is awesome when it comes to being here in a booth. We've been talking this entire time. So we got BMES, BMES. And, and I tell you, for the last, last two days, I watched people come over here and play with these things nonstop. And I have to admit, those are probably some of the coolest the coolest little toys man fascinating because everybody comes over to play with the toys and and i've been watching that for the last couple days so guys anyway that is a 20 some minute walkthrough of the vendor hall here at fbs and uh i'll tell you what guys my voice right now is a little bit hoarse i've been talking for the last two days and it's nonstop. And I've already got a couple of guys that asked me to come back. So I got to come back and I got to talk with them. It's been phenomenal. It's been absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I'm going to close this out because I'm, I'm walking up to the front. The video is already maybe a little too long. And I'm sorry for the shaky video. But that's the nature of the beast, guys. That is the, that is the nature of the beast. <sighs> I got to go back to talking to people. So anyway, guys, Florida Biomed Society phenomenal organization you got five entities around florida and once a year they all get together and they host a show together which i asked how do they do that because you have five separate entities they each have a responsibility for the show and they make it work fascinating anyway congrats to florida biomed society they won the uh the tech nation med ranch uh organization of the year and they clearly deserve it they've done beautiful job so that's better biomed florida biomed society 2024 here in coronado springs florida thanks for watching guys